So how long? <laughs> uh, 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 not that. <laughs> Three, two, one. So how long is too long to wait for your partner to propose? Mm, let's talk about that. This is going to get real interesting. <laughs> <laughs> How long is too long to wait for your partner to propose? I mean... To, to be honest, I think it's really relative. Yeah. I think it's all relative. Yeah. When it comes to... I mean, there's a couple of factors that mm -hmm. I feel like really are going to dictate how long is too long. Right. I think first and foremost, your age. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think also your maturity level. Like... Yep. It doesn't matter. You could be 25 or 30. If you're not ready to, if you're not there yet, maturity wise, then yeah. it might be a little dicey. Yeah. And if you're really just, if you're ready. Like right. If right. both people are ready are truly to, ready. to take mm -hmm. that next step mm -hmm. in their relationship. Yeah. So I, I would agree with you. And it kind of goes hand in hand with being ready. Um, but I was going to say expectations, like, Everybody has different expectations when it comes to marriage. And it's very important that you are on the same page with right, your partner because right. somebody may be okay with waiting five years for their partner to propose, but someone may not. And if two people are on different pages when it comes to that, it can be really tough. And a proposal may not actually happen and you may find yourself moving on to the next person because expectations weren't like set early on. I think that's a really good point because definitely it comes down to expectations as mm -hmm. well because yes, maybe one person doesn't feel like they're ready or maybe yeah. one person doesn't feel like their maturity level is there to take that next step. Right. But maybe the other person is. Yeah. So I think like we always say when it, when it comes down to a relationship mm -hmm. on, for most things, it comes to communication. So yes. I think those expectations have mm -hmm. to be there for both parties. Yeah, you just have to do what works for your relationship and also setting clear expectations and communicating about it because last thing you want is to be on two different pages, especially when it comes to spending the rest of your life right. with that person. Another thing too is to block out outside noise when Ooh, it comes to um, waiting for your partner to propose. Because if it's one thing that society will do is they will put a timeline on when you should complete certain things in your life. Right. And if you go based on the timeline of others, you will not be happy. I mean, people do give great advice sometimes, but if you are so kind of not necessarily focused, but affected by what others are saying, like how fast you should move into the next chapter or stage in, in a relationship with your partner. It can put a lot of strain on your relationship right. right then and there, because then after you get engaged and they're going to be saying, well, when are you going to get married? Then you get married. Well, when are you going to have kids? And you have kids. And then when are you? It's like, <laughs> whoa, 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 slow down. Like, yeah. So at mm -hmm. the end of the day, it's, your expectations within your relationship yeah. focus on you and your partner mm -hmm. everybody else is basically outside noise yeah. that's family included mm -hmm. that's friends included yeah that's your mom your dad mm -hmm. focus on what makes you and your partner happy if yeah. you guys really want to take that next step mm -hmm. then you guys have to be on the same page and the expectations have to be there and yeah. the only way that you can set good expectations mm -hmm. is with good communication. Yeah, yeah. Now, when we're talking about people individually, you have to reflect on yourself. You have mm -hmm. to think, am I ready? Am I ready to take this next step? Yep. Is this the partner that I want to take this next step with? That's very true. It definitely takes some reflecting because um, there may be a lot of great qualities in that person that you're spending some, you know, that you're spending time with, that you're dating, that you're in a relationship with, but that doesn't sometimes necessarily mean that that is your lifelong partner. Right. Um, that could be a great partner for whatever season you're in. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean that that is your husband or your wife to be. And so that's why when you say, you know, just self-reflecting and saying, is this someone I want to spend the rest of my life with? It does matter. And it's very important. Um, and then also just making sure that you and your partner are on the same page. Does he or she feel that way that I am right. their life partner? Yeah. Um, and I know we say go at your own 
pace, you know, in terms of like, don't let other people rush you. But it, in my opinion, I don't feel that it takes a very long time to know that you want to spend the rest of your life when you're in a relationship with someone that you want to spend the rest of your life with that person. Right. Um, now, of course, there are um, different things that happen, like circumstances, obstacles that happen in life, finances, things age. like that. Age that I may. Think, I think age is a, is a big part of it, too. Yeah. I mean, I know mm -hmm. for us in particular, we, we got together when we were 20 years old. Yeah. Juniors in college. So. Yeah. We're not ready to get married at or even get yeah. proposed uh, at in college. Yeah. And then those first couple of years out of college, mm -hmm. we still need some time to grow. Yeah, like our I didn't even know your 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 daily habits like that, <laughs> because <laughs> when you're in college, you stay in different dorms and things like that. And so you you get what you what you see from that person is what they want you to see. And so you don't necessarily know that person fully until, you know, you spend more time with them. So um, going back to what I said, there are other um, factors that do come into play that may, you know, kind of put a pause on you proposing tomorrow but with all of that said, you should still know whether or not if you're in a relationship with someone, whether or not you want to spend the rest of your life with that person. That is so, very, that's very true. And mm -hmm. I think what we've been talking about is just going back to that communication and having those expectations. Mm -hmm. So I think me and Jen, well, actually, I'll, I'll ask you. Yeah. So we waited six years. Well, yeah. I waited six years. Was that okay with you? Was was there discussions that we had beforehand? And how was that experience for you waiting to get proposed to six years into the relationship? Okay, so that is a loaded question. Loaded. You asked me like three, <laughs> three questions within a question. Keep it short um, and simple. Keep it short and simple, but he asked a, <laughs> a very loaded question. Um, so to answer your questions with an S, yes. Oh, I'm sorry. So, no, I don't feel like it was too long. But, yes, I felt like it was too long at the same time. Mm. And I'm going to answer. I'm going to tell you why. I feel like for the stage that we were in in our lives and our age, six years was fine for me to wait because we still had a lot of growing to do and we were still in college. And so six years was fine for, for me then. However, if I were to be the age that I am now and you and I were dating now that I'm 30 years old right. and we had been dating for, you know, two years into the relationship at a very different stage in our lives compared to when we were 20 years old, six years would be too long for me. That's that. I, I, yeah. I feel like that was the perfect answer because when you said yes or no, I got a little antsy. I was like, like oh, wait, wait. oh, maybe I did wait too long. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. but I think that's perfect because. Everything that we're saying is relative to your circumstances. And mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. us being sophomores, juniors in college and from 20 to that 26 year old yeah. stage. Yeah. I think we still needed growing up to do individually and yeah. within our relationship, within just our relationship. understand each mm -hmm. other and understand our habits and understand mm -hmm. everything about e mm -hmm. each other so that we had a clear indication or clear understanding mm -hmm. that this is who I want to spend the rest of my life with. Yeah. And we just needed, being young too, we have the luxury of time on our hands too. Yeah. So when you've got friends and family, uh, not you, but people in general, yeah. you've got people in general saying, oh, why, am, why aren't you married yet? Why aren't you married yet? After three years, it's like, okay, I'm 23. Like, yeah, I like, still got give a, me long, some time. Yeah. a long time and now, to go. Yeah, and like, it's like, don't get me wrong. If you are 23 and you know what you want and that, you're with a partner and you guys both know what you want and you guys have communicated about it and there's clear expectations and you feel like you guys are at that stage in your relationship where you are ready to take it to the next level, then by all means, do, again, yes. do what works for you. Yes. But for us in our situation it just we weren't ready then we weren't ready yeah. and it was it was more so not that we our relationship was not good it was more so the fact of the changes that were yeah. going on uh, the the transition from college to the real world yeah the transition from trying to find a, a job trying to yeah. find a career mm -hmm. and then also we wanted to get move out of Maryland. So yeah, there were a lot of moving parts. So, yeah, that, so that yeah. whole transition mm -hmm. um, from Maryland to trying to find somewhere out of state, mm -hmm. which was now here Florida, and mm -hmm. now we're here in Miami. You know, a lot of factors go into yeah. 
making such a huge decision, which is to choose your life partner and to say, this is who I want to spend the rest of my Mm -hmm. life with. And it's such a huge decision that a lot of people don't really take uh, with the full effect because some people just do it just for the the fact of, oh, okay, I'm engaged and things like that. No. Or they do it to buy some time because maybe a person, the one person in the relationship is feeling like, hey, what is going on? Like Mm -hmm. things are not moving as fast as I hoped they would move. And sometimes, you know, a partner may propose because they they do love that person and they do want to spend the rest of their lives with that person, but they're not ready for marriage just yet. And so they propose in order to buy some time. Um, And you don't want to do that either. You know, if you are saying that you love, love this person and you want them to be your lifelong partner. You want you don't want to just propose because you feel rushed or just do it because it's cool and all of your friends are getting engaged mm. and you feel left out. Like yeah. it, it holds special meaning. And so um, it should be very intentional. You and know, that's that's what we call keeping up with the Joneses. And that's a whole nother subject. We'll go into yeah, that's at, a whole a nother later, subject in uh, at a later date. But yeah. I think the expectations have to be there. You have to be there mentally ready. Mm-hmm. You have to have the maturity to yeah. say, okay, this is what I actually want. Yep. And be monogamous with this person mm-hmm. and make sure that your trust is there. Be secure in your yeah. relationship. Yeah. Because you don't have to have it all together to get married. No. You know, like not everything is going to be perfect in order for you to get married or or to get proposed to. Um, you may not have it all together, but you know that is as long as that person loves you you love that person like you said you guys are secure within your relationship the trust is there the communication is there then you know that's all you need now there are some other factors that may be deal breakers for you in your relationship or maybe something that's like hey we need to take some more time with this but that's a conversation that you have so again it goes back into Communication. communication so you know also know that if you're waiting for everything to be perfect in order for someone to propose, that can take some time too. And you may end up waiting a very long time. So you don't have to have all of that, but there are some things that we believe are key. Yeah. You know, when it comes to uh, a proposal and, and how long you, you should wait at the end of the day, that all comes down to confidence. Yeah. I think you have to have confidence within who your partner is and that's who you're going to spend the rest of your life with. You have to have confidence to say, Mm -hmm that's her or that's him. Mm -hmm. Like Mm -hmm. you need to have a hundred percent confidence in that. And again, like not letting outside noise distract you or affect you in any way. So we can't answer the question for you. You have to answer this question for yourself Mm -hmm. and for your partner. Yeah. But we just want to have this conversation because Mm -hmm. it's a conversation that isn't had too often. Yeah. So for us to have this conversation, I'm hoping that it adds some value to you so that yeah. you can maybe start to reflect on your relationship and yeah. if you are ready to be at that stage. So definitely, if you guys have any questions, we love to open up dialogue in the comments. Like if you guys want to know more about our relationship and what the proposal was like for us, um, if you have something that's going on in your relationship that you want to share with us and have some questions, we're happy to ask them. Feel free to drop comments below or maybe above or side. We don't know where it's going to be at just yet, but <laughs> it's, drop it's, it's, oh, it's below. always below. Oh, it's always, <laughs> okay. It's always below. She, she's new to this. So drop a comment below. Um, and also don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, uh, share this video with some friends that may be feeling like they, they're, they're not sure like how long they should wait for their partner to propose. Share this video with them. We're, we're hoping that it will share some insight and be of value to you guys. So again, my name is Jen. And I'm Shane. Enjoy the journey.